Amen. Ambia mwenzako nimeanza kukupenda. Na ndio uamini ninakupenda. Karibu kiti. Amen. You know the reason into why I love Apostle Ngaruya. Unajua ninampenda sana. Nilimjua kitambo wakati alikuwa anakuja kutuhubiria pale Kameme FM. And the reason I love about him. He loves coping. Anapenda ku copy. Ambia mwenzako coping is healthy. Arafu muambie coping is better than jealousy. Mwambie kuliko kusikia wivu ukiona kitu kizuri anza ku copy. Praise the name of the Lord. Wakati alikuja JCM Apostle Ngaroya kitu ya kwanza ali notice ni the Lord store. Na akaniambia what is it about this store? Nikamwambia kuja ingia uone. Akaniambia kanisa mnauza unga. Nikamwambia hapana. Hiki chote unaona ni chakula cha watu wasiojiweza. Hizi ni wheelchairs za watu hawajiwezi. Hizi ni diapers za watu ambao hawajiwezi. Akaniambia nataka kama hii kitengela. Nikamwambia chukua neema ya kwenda kuanza. And when the grace is released you don't struggle to find things. Tukiwa tu hapa hata yule alimuuzia container alipiga simu tukiwa hapa. Kwa sababu neema ikiachiliwa you don't struggle to achieve what you like. Praise the name of the Lord. Wakati nilianza the Lord's song Unajua the best thing when someone begins other people who will follow will not struggle. Nilipigwa vita mingi sana. Kwa sababu nilisema ni wakati wakati wa, wa, wa mchungaji kugawana sadaka na washirika wake. Uwezi kuwa unahubiri hapa mpaka unaongea in tongues. Harafu mshirika mwingine anaenda kulia jioni na amekuachia mia yake. Gawa neni? Aende na 50, ubaki na 50. Kanisa si ya pasta peke yake hata mshirika ni shareholder. Kanisa hufanyika kanisa kwa sababu kuna mtu ameketi kusikiliza. Saa hizi mkitoka nyinyi wote nje nitanyamaza. Kwa hivyo wewe mimi nahubiri na wewe unasikiliza. Because church the Bible calls church a refuge. Na mahali ambapo unafaa kufikiria utapata msaada kwanza ni ndani ya nyumba ya Mungu kabla uendee wale watu wengine. Katika nyumba ya Mungu hapavai kukosa maji, mavazi, chakula na kivuli. Ukifungiwa nyumba kabla upate pesa, malaika akuje. Unafaa kuja kulala hapa. Na usiulizwe na mtu hii ni nyumba ya baba yako. Praise the name of the Lord. Nikamwambia the remaining gospel is compassion. I began preaching compassion five years ago when I was in the mainstream church. And this is what I want to tell you, Apostle Ngaruya. In the world that we are living in, gospel is being termed as scam. People are nicknaming the gospel as fake. But there is one one thing that will never be changed a name. People can sell water, living waters and living handkerchief or living cups or even living boxes. People can sell all those. But there is one gospel that cannot be diluted, compassionate gospel. Compassion has no other name. Its name is compassion. It is the only gospel 
that you touch a soul direct. It is the only gospel that you can see physical result. Hingine hata binguni sinikuambiriwa. Hata binguni ni kuambiliwa. Lakini injiri ya huruma na utu. Hiyo ndiyo injiri ambayo inaguza mtu hapo hapo. Kwa sababu kama alikuwa na njaa, akishiba, analala, imemuguza. Hiyo ndiyo injiri. Na mimi hii dunia yote, maisha yangu yote, si itahubiri kitu kingine. Nitahubiri wokovu wa Yesu Kristo, kufa na kufufuka kujazwa na roho mtakatifu msamaha wa dhambi na unga Praise the name of the Lord It is the only gospel that you can see physical results Gospel is about results When we preach and someone comes here to receive Jesus Christ that is a physical miracle that can be seen with our eyes. When you touch a life, na wacha ni kuambie, katika uduma yako aposta ngaroia, sasa ndiyo utapata amani. Tunaendaga na weko ofisi yangu na kuambie tuchungulie maana ikona kio, we ukiwa inje hutuoni, lakini sisi tukiwa dani tunakuona. Huwa ninatoka na kiti, ninasimama, ninaketi hapo kwa varanda ya ofisi yangu. Ninaambia aposto ngaroi ya keti hapa ni kuonyesha mahali furaha yangu hutoka. Ananiambia nataka kuona hiyo furaha. Tuna keti hapa anakojea furaha aioni. Harafu kuna ingia nyanya waze. Wanaingia the Lord store. Wanawekewa shopping yao. Wakati wanatoka kwa gate ninamuambia ndio hiyo furaha yangu. Maybe in your ministry, you never had peace. Maybe where you came, they disturbed your spirit. That store will bring back the joy of your salvation. Here store itakuleje share furaha ya wakovu wako. Inyue mutu yuke keno kiri agora wonakio. Riri a JCM, they don't have to me akuru. Lili adilo na adona wheelchair. Lili adilo na atumia young mother's need. Makege ilaili ogona makiumaja ya geti. Jeraka mwadhani nehede. Dela atu gata. The best thing about the Lord's store. It does not belong to a human being. That is why it is called the. Si yako. Si umeaza Lord's store hapa. Kwa gari yetu pale tumekuletea unga mingi. Na nimepewa unga ingine na dama wa dama mobile spares. Na yeye akanipatia unga ingine tukuletee. When you begin the Lord store, your work is to just build it. From there you leave it to the owner. It has the owner, the Lord store. Hiyo sio yako. Na hauta ngangana kuiweka chakula Na hauta kuwa unajua mahali chakula inatoka Maana mwenye hiyo so Ndiye mpaji Kazi yako ni kuijenga The Lord so Ndiyo nyumba peke yake hujipereka The Lord so Saizi nimesikia hapa umepewa elfu miyatatu Hiyo ni bells Zaidi ya jumimi hununua unga sana Hizo ni bail zaidi ya miambiri na kitu. Mimi ufanya hesabu rahisi. Fanya hesabu rahisi. Na wacha ni kuambie. Sasa muhame haraka. Kwa sababu the Lord so huja na watu wake. Mufanya haraka muhame hapa. Hata sisi JCM mungu wa natufukuza hapa nyetuko. Kurukisha mwaka. Haungeona mahali pa kusimama mweshimi wa deputy governor. We had 15,000 people in the church. Mimi nitoka kwa ofisi yangu ni kauliza watu wa proto kwa muna niabia ni ingia kanisa ni pita wapi. Kwa sababu watu wa meanza kufunguka macho. Wajara na hii jiri ya kuangusha watu hapa. Roho watajiangusia wake. 
Sisi wewe umelia hapa? Ni sisi tumekucha hapa? <laughs> si amelia hapa huyu. Ni sisi tumemchapa. Kazi ya roho iwachiwe roho afanye kazi yake lakini kazi ya mchungaji the, the reason into why you are called mchungaji kazi ya mchungaji ni kupeleka kondoo mahali kuna lishe that is the reason into why unaitwa mchungaji kazi ya mchungaji hawa wa masai si ni wachungaji kazi yao ni kuamka asubuhi wanapeleka ngombe mahali kuna lishe na kukikauka kwao unaweza kuta ngombe za mosisho Mombasa. Kwa hivyo unapolisha watu. Kumbuka ya kwamba mambo ya dunia tunasolvia duniani. Wacha kuambia mtu ako na jaa hapa. Inua mikono yako. Tazama milimani mahali mtaada wako hutoka. Ushaona mtu ameshuka Mount Kenya na unga. Kwa sababu watu hawa tunahubiria wana mahitaji and if a priest will shy away from their needs there will be a disconnect between the servant and the followers Praise the name of Jesus Mimi najua hii injili haipendwi inapigwa unaenda kuongea mbele ya wahubiri wanafura lakini biguni sio kwao Biguni sio kwao. Tutahubiri injiri iliyohubiriwa. The Bible says that Christ said, "Cope me." Mimi sio watu navutia na unga. Mm -mm. Lakini najua unga huvutia watu. Usicheze na unga. Unga una nguvu. Ndio maana wakati wa campaign huwa mnapangwa, mnapewa na ikikosa mnaimba nemo tu nemo tu the now ito no motu mukawe inera motu no guo wana inero Yesu alipohubiria watu akamaliza kumwangalia unajua when you finish with spiritual affairs and matters now the physical hits you hard Yesu akawahubiria akawaambia baba yangu akawaambia nini akawaambia kuhusu roho mtakatifu alafu akawaangalia akaona wote wako na jaa na mtikede hali ya mli hagaeki hii gera gera na kanitha nyu uko na kiha ndugikaire uko kanitha kihi ni kio kiare na irio jesu akio yake liga kiama akihea dua sio the irio Ado giri dhano makerea na magetigia. Isi ostiari spiritual. Siari physical. Praise the name of Jesus. Yesu alipo wapea chakula. Haku wapea chakula spiritual. Alimaliza na spiritual. Akamaliza na physical. Praise the name of the Lord. Alafu Yesu wakasema kwa maandiko. Watakao ni fuata wa nipende. Watafanya zaidi yangu. Na mimi saa hii tarehe tarehe 23 Disemba tulipea siku kuu watu elfu kumi na mbili. Kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha mimi niliyempenda nimefanya zaidi yake. Yeye yeah, alipea watu elfu tano. Mimi nimepea watu elfu kumi. Kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha ako pamoja na mimi Sisi tulikuwa tumepanga chakula ya watu elfu mbili. By sane kulikuwa na watu elfu kumi na mbili kanisani. Nikaona hapa kimeumana. Nikaita hawa watu wa protocol nikawaambia kujeni kwa ofisi yangu. Wakaniuliza rev umetuita. Nikamwambia yeye kujeni tukae hapa tuchapwe pamoja. Kwa sababu leo wale wakikosa unga tunachapwa sisi wote. But I thank God. God, the owner of the Lord's store, will always do a shopping for that store. Wakati chakula ilikosa kabisa nikaona kimeumana nikaona sasa kanisa tutapigwa. Tutapigwa. Watu wako na njaa. Tutapigwa. 
nikaanga nikaru toka mahali na parekaga apostle garuya tukachungulia nje tukaona vile kanisa kumejaa watu nilichukua simu yangu nikapigia unajua mtu hupigia rafiki yake kapigia uhuru kenyata simu liona ama mnafikiri ni uongo simu liona nikampigia nikamwambia hapa nikubaye nisaidie kama rafiki yangu kaniambia hao watu wote wapewe siku kuu ninakutumia gari saa hii kuletea milioni moja. praise the name of the lord nikatumana unga kila mtu aliyekuwa hapo hakuna kwa kwa kwa, kwa mtu siku kuu haikunuka na tulikuwa tunapeana unga ya ngano na mchele na mafuta. Hakuna mtu hakubeba. Why? When you build, the owner takes over. Kazi yetu ni kujenga, halafu mwenyewe achukue kutoka hapo. Na kwa sababu mmejenga, the Lord, the owner of the store will take over. Praise the name of the Lord. Kuna kitu mimi hufunza ninaambia watu Amen Karibu sana mheshimiwa Amen Niliambia unajua I love speaking vitu ambavyo vinaeleweka Kwa sababu roho yangu my heart bleed wakati ninaona mtu ako na shida kama kuna kitu hunisumbua ni wakati ninaona mtu anasumbuka kwa sababu kanisani mnafikiriaga wa sometimes people are crying because they love god kuna mwingine huria kwa sababu ako na njaa praise the name of the lord unaona watu wameinama Wanalia machozi unafikiria ni lile neno unafikiri Yesu Kristo oiriat Lakini huyo mtu kwa roho anajiuliza nikimaliza ibada watoto wamenigonja nyumbani nitaenda kuwapatia nini na hata kulala tulilala njaa That is the reason into why I started the Lord's store And I am so happy to see the Lord's store cruising all over the nation kuna ingine tunaenda kufungua nilikuwa naonyesha apostle Ngaloya. Kuna the Lord so tunaenda kufungua pale kanisa la AIC limeanza. Pale Mangi, pale Lari pale panachomagwa mahindi ukiende Nakuru. Kuna kanisa la AIC lilifungua the Lord so hapo. Kuna ile nilifungua Nakuru kwa Bishop Ben Nganga. Sasa nimekuja kufungua hii. Na mimi ninajua out of this one kuna zingine zinajengwa hapa nchini. Na sisi hakuna kanisa letu halina the Lord so. Mpaka Narok nilikuwa huko. Unajua nilichukua makao. Makao ni mchungaji wetu wa JCM Narok. Nilienda huko juzi na nikamfungulia the Lord so. In Nyahururu we have a Lord so. In Mtwapa tuko na Lord so. Hakuna mahali kanisa la JCM litawahi simama pakose the Lord so. Hata heri tukose kuhubiri injili ingine. Tukifika mbinguni hamtaulizwa mambo mengi. Kwa sababu mnafanya bidii sana ili mfike mbinguni. Lakini tukifika kule maandiko yanasema tutaulizwa maswali very easy. Nilikuja nikiwa na njaa. Nilikuja nikiwa na kiu. Nilikuja nikiwa uchi. Hayo ndio mambo utaulizwa. Praise the name of the Lord. Kuna, kuna injiri tunaruka na ndio injiri ya Yesu Kristo the compassionate gospel compassion was the gospel of Jesus whatever that driven Jesus was compassion alikuwa anaenda anaangalia mtu hivi anamhurumia mpaka yule aliitana akiwa kipofu alitumia majina gani Yesu mwana wa Daudi unihurumia Have compassion on me. Compassion is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Sasa wacha niwaambie kitu kingine. Kama kuna watu wamebahatika ni watu wa hili kanisa. 
kule kwetu JCM Taith yetu yote huenda the Lord so Hata mtasaidia huyu kupata ufalme wa mbinguni Kwa sababu tumekuwa tukichukua pesa ya Mungu tunaweka kwa tumbo zetu Ndio unaona mchungaji anakaa akiwa maridadi miaka 2 miaka 3 halafu mnamkuta na washirika wanne kwa sababu hata Mungu tunayehubiri hapendi ujinga. Tunachukua chakula ya Mungu na kutishia hawa washirika. Tunachukua, tunaweka kwa tumbo. Lakini nikihubiri hivi, unafikiri kuna wachungaji wangapi saa hizi wameangalia live hivi wanasema giki kiaragia tayari. Kwa sababu when you have the Lord store and that is what I want us to read in the book of Malachi 3:10. Nilisikia mtu mwingine akiuliza tithe ni ya nani? Unajua kuna watu wengine hutoa tithe hapa wanafikiria tithe ndio itafanya mfike mbinguni. Waja ni kuwafundisha kitu kimoja. Tithe is not your fare to heaven. Even if you give out a million and you still go on sinning, you will not see Jesus. Tithe is a command from God. Kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha tithe it's God's money. Ama mnafikiria kama mkileta hapa tunapatia Mungu? Ni nyinyi nauliza. Mnafikiria kama tithe tunapatia Mungu? Tumtoe wapi tumpe pesa yake? Ni nyinyi nauliza. Huwa muna, oh mnaambia kwa tithe ni pesa ya Mungu? Tithe ni pesa ya kutumika hapa. Na tithe It is a measure of your faithfulness to God. And it is the opener of windows of heaven where blessings comes from. Hiyo ndiyo ukufungulia milango na dirisha za binguni. Lakini hatupendi kuwafundisha sana kuhusu Malachi 3.10 hatutakangi kuisoma yote diyo kasisi ya sikose suti diyo kasisi ya sikose kazi mzuri diyo kasisi ya sikose gali mzuri but wakati utafanya vile inafana fungu la kumi mungu ufungua baraka zake hata hujuagi mahali ya nakutolea msaada ambia mwenzako doing the right thing Malachi 3.10 Umefungua hapo? Eh. Nani yako na nani yako na, na, na Mike? Asome ndio mseme ni Biblia yangu inasema. Ili niwafunze kitu. And that is what I want to teach you about tithing for the Lord's store. Praise the name of the Lord. Na wacha nikwambie Apostle Karoya be ready. Si wewe ulikuja kwangu kaona the Lord's store ukaniambia nikuje nikufungulie. Sasa jiandae kufungua zingine hii laini yote kwa sababu atakaye ona atapenda because the bible says it is the lord's and god's doings and it is beautiful in our eyes kwa hivyo atakaye ona the lord so itafurahisha macho yake nani yako na microphone asome soma eh soma ndio hao wasiseme ni biblia yangu inasema hivyo mara ka 310 mhm inasema hivi eh Bring the whole tithe. Sikiliza. Maandiko ya mnaeleza vizuri sana. Kwa hivyo kama uleti tithe yote, tafadhali ondoa wizi katika kanisa. This is a God command. Huyu ni Mungu anasema, leteni zaka zote. Sikiliza. Eh, rudia bring bring the whole tithe. Bring the whole tithe. Unajua Mungu wakati alikuwa anaongea haya yeye alifikiria kanisa liko na watu waaminifu hakuna mahali wizi umejaa kama hapa tuko unajua mimi napenda kuongea ukweli sababu ukweli ndio huniweka huru na mimi nitafikishwa mbinguni na kuongea hakuna wizi kama ulio kanisani mnasema serikali nyinyi hata si wakora ukora uko wapi kanisani ati unakuta mtoto wa, 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 wa bishop hmm? anaendaka group of schools lakini washirika watoto wao huenda school as a group <laughs> hala 
Endapo unasikia right now mimi niko na watoto 36 in secondary schools niko na watoto wanne university na hakuna mtoto wangu hapo ni watoto wa shirika mtoto mshirika wangu mtoto wake hawezi pata marks 400 halafu huyo mtoto aperekwe day school kwa sababu wazazi hawana uwezo kanisa litamsomesha by fire by might Sasa kanisa letu hii form 4 ilifanywa tuko na B B4 Tuko na C+ ngapi dongo C+ sita. D ni tatu. Praise the name of Jesus Sisi basi yetu ikirudisha watoto shule unaweza fikiria hiyo ndio na tuko na mwanafunzi baka Mangu High School under JCM Hauwezi hakuna vile naweza kosa kusomesha mtoto na hako na max 400 halafu munione nikiendesha V8 Huo ni wizi in the name of Jesus Na mimi sitaki kuwa mwizi kupitia jina la Mungu Unapata mshirika kanisa limejaa mpaka huko kanisa linanunua mabasi lakini kuna mshirika anauza shamba akatibiwe Wizi kupitia jina la Yesu. Huo wizi ninasema in this generation kama sisi ndio tunaleta revival huo utakoma. Praise the name of Jesus. Huo utafanya nini? Huo utakoma. Kanisa letu halitawahi nunua lori kama tuko na mgonjwa hapo. Shughulikia huyo kwanza. Kuna vitu zingine sio za kiroho. Mambo mengine unashughulikia kimwili kwa sababu tuko katika hebu imagine mtu anaitwa hapa amevunjika na pikipiki amevunjika mguu halafu apostle ngaroya ateremke hapa ati mwekeni hapa rima koto riba ko riba shanta raba hiyo ni ujinga huwezi ponywa mguu kuvunjika na ndimi ni uende kanisa ufungwe prasa hata wewe uache uchinga wa kiroho Hakuna siku utaambia mtu akona jana watoto wake wamesimama hapa wanakuambia pasta sisi tumelala jana watoto wangu unawaambia riba koto rima shanda hekeni guza mahali pako na njaa alafu ati sasa ujiset hapa uelekeze pawa yako hapo wewe ni pasta mjinga sana hakuna siku mtu atashibishwa na muujiza kama ni chakula cha tumbo patia mtu chakula ashibe hiyo ingine mu discuss Praise the name of Jesus Amen. Physical problems are tackled physically Spiritual <laughs> affairs are tackled spiritually eh? Ni kama mtu anakuja hapa dugu anakwambia pasha Ninataka tuombe mchungaji Ninataka tuombe akituombe dugu shida ni gani niko na miaka 38 ohoi na sijapata bibi mchungaji waacha ujinga msichana hatafuti uko maombi kwenda huko nje ongeresha mtu mimi huwezi nipigisha magoti hapa uniambie twende fasting ukaoe titu fast ndio nioe mi ni o fast tie Nio do ara hasi aku Unanipeleka fasting juu ya yale mambo yatakuja kukufurahisha baadaye Wasijana wamejaa hapa ongeresha mmoja ukikataliwa ukatalike uende kwa mwingine paka atakapo kukubali vitu zingine si za kuombea Praise the name of Jesus Tunakuta mtu amelala hapa ati anaambia Mungu nifanyie nifanyie kuna zile vitu za Mungu kufanya na kuna zako ujifanyie Pasta niombe. Ninahitaji mume pasta ninafikisha miaka 40. Miaka 40 ukifanya nini duniani? Na hauna mkia na pembe. Miaka pote. Halafu niambie twende fasting, tuombe vitu zitakuja kukufurahisha we mwenyewe. Kuna vitu siwezi ompea. Praise the name of Jesus. A church should come with a solution. This is a place of solutions. Kanisa ni mahali pa kusuruhisha shida. Na kama kanisa lenu likifungwa Sunday, 
huwa linafunguliwa Sunday that is not a church that is a gathering a church should be opened 24 hours hii ni hospitali hii ni hospitali hii ukikuja huko bypass mimi nimejitolea Mungu sana mwaka huu by next month nitakuwa nimenunua fire extinguisher kwa sababu sio kusema juu tumeokoka nyumba haitaugua na nyumba zikiugua hazita hazita poesha na maombi hata baba mshikaji wa moto ninaombea nyumba hii tulie moto fire nyumba hupoeshwa na fire extinguisher ikiwa na maji are we together kanisa haifai kukosa fire extinguisher ambulance basi ya kupea wananchi unajua sometimes sisi husubua serikali bure na kanisa iko na uwezo unaona pastor amesimama pale mbele Tulikuwa na shida hapa. Dada yetu mmoja hapa alishikika kupata mtoto. Tukajaribu kutafuta ambulance ikakosa na ako na pesa. Kwani washirika wako sio watu? Kuwa wameokoka haijawaondoa katika shida za kibinadamu za kila siku. Sio kusema juu umeokoka ati wewe utaenda pale Sanford Nairobi uanze kukua kuku ikiwa kwa kio tiju umeokoka unaongeaga na dimi umechaza na roho mtakatifu ati uangalie kio uanze kufanya kuku nusu by fire by mighty kuku nusu tunatingiza mkono jiweke chumvi weka chumvi weka chumvi haya jifunge chips 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 sasa kujeni by fire by utashikwa na kajo ogoro kile kuokoka haijakuondoa katika zile shida upitiwa kila siku ukitaka chakula kama wana watu wengine toa pesa mfuko ufanya nini ununue unajua the christians the problem with the christian church today ni kubehave kama mungu wetu ni mganga wa kristo wamebakisha kidogo sana kuingia pale wakiwa uchi karibu sasa waingie na kinyume nyume hivi because they are behaving like they are god is a witch doctor. God is not a witch doctor. No. We believe in his miracles. But we have to do our part. Ati unainama hapa. Unapiga magoti hapa. Mungu ni nakuomba. Na tukubaliana na wewe. Nikia ipika ni wewe umeipika. Hiyo maombi muache. Gai omenye da shonoka ni wewe washonoka. Da tuone wewe wahoto. Le ule. Unaona kai mosho noke ha mwana ni wata le thamba mwiri. Unaambia Mungu ati ukiaibika ni yeye ameaibika na ni wewe hauogi mwiri. So unafikiri ukinuka Mungu amenuka. Wacheni kubebesha Mungu mizigo mingine. Ati Mungu hujue hapa. Ile vita imenigojea nje nikishindwa ni wewe umeshindwa na ni wewe umemwaga maji ya wenyewe kwa kwa tap na mtugi utapigwa bado kama umeokoka utapigwa our god is not a witchcraft is not a witch doctor he does not use witchcraft to perform his miracles by faith things happens by actions things are achieved praise the name of the lord tunahara hapa wiki nzima mungu ninaomba Mwaka huu usinieke katika aibu. Ninaomba hivi Mungu nikiamka hapa kwa magoti. Nijipate na gari. Okay, imechotwa nani upewe? Ni wewe nauliza. Juu unapea Mungu conditions atukiamka kwa magoti ujipate na gari. Gari hununuliwa showroom. Fanya kazi. Wa Kristo wacheni uzembe utajiri hupatikana kwa vitu vitatu aidha uliachiwa aidha umeiba ama umefanya kazi kwa bidii praise the name of the lord ti mungu ninaomba by fire by mighty hii mwaka hii wiki hii inakuja mungu nipate gorofa kitengera ya plaza we wacha kusumbua mungu Apostongaruya washirika wako kama sio the lord so hawezi sibishwa na muujiza 
Atafanyeni hivi sasa? Nataka kuwaombea mwenda nyumbani. Fanyeni hivi niombe Mungu muujiza uingie katika tumbo zenu. Kati mnaweka mikono hivi ndio sasa tumbo itoke. Ati Mungu baba wa shirika wangu wanaenda nyumbani. Katika tumbo zao naweka nyama choma. Katika tumbo zao nimeweka soda baridi. Katika tumbo zao nimeweka kuku. Nani hakuragi nyama niweke mboga. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Are we together? Unajua watu huulizana nafaa kupeleka wapi fungu la kumi. and this is not an argument it is in the bible wapi anayesoma kuja usimame hapa wajua unasoma biblia hapa ikifika ni tithing hakuna kusumbu hata sijui kwa nini wachungaji hungangana kufunza giving stop teaching so hard about giving Unakuta unahubiri service mzima about giving but hubiri kuhusu kuokoka mtu atoke kwa shetani. Giving should come automatically from a willing soul. Na kwa nini watu wanakataa kupeana kanisani? Wanakataa kupeana kwa sababu wakipeana hawaoni inako kwenda. Kanisa ukipata ukiwa na mikakati ya kufanya mambo, hawa watu you don't force people. Sisi kwetu JCM ukisema fungu la 10 iletwe kila mtu usimama. Kwa sababu wanajua mahali pesa zao zinaenda. Na fungu la kumi ni pesa za kuuza moyo wanaehitaji. Soma vizuri. Uh-huh. Bring all tithes into the storehouse. Sikiliza vizuri. Nataka usikize kwa makini. Bring all tithes into what? Storehouse. Into the storehouse. Sio into the pastor's stomach. Sio into the bishop's bank. No. Bring all tithes into the storehouse. Hii ni Biblia hatubishani. Uamini usiamini. Ubishane hata kwa mtandao usibishane. Ha, ama mmesikia nikisoma Pastor Ben 3 verses 10. Tunasoma Malachi 3 Ten. Either ubishane usibishane Tunasoma biblia ambayo unaamini Bring all tithes into the storehouse Is this a storehouse? This is a what? The bible says And my house shall be called a house of prayer This is not a storehouse Every church should have a storehouse outside the church Mimi hii kama haijai kukuingia mimi niliingia na nikafanya jinsi Mungu anasema Sikiliza Bring all Hebu soma wewe na nitakupiga Bring the whole tithe Hebu bring the whole tithe Bring the whole tithe in the, into the storehouse into the storehouse Where is the storehouse here Si iko nje Haya sasa sikiliza vizuri ndio ushike hapa nitawafunza hii iwaingie kama dawa utakuwa unajiangalia kanisa zingine hivi watu wakiibiwa unasema huu Mungu awafungue wakati nilihubiria bishop wenu huyu alikuja JCM tukakaa chini akaniambia hebu nifunze kuhusu the Lord store iko kwa bible gani nikamwambia sigaruya si umeishi kusoma hiyo verse akaniuliza gani nikamwambia mala kai 3 verse Ten. Akaniambia hapana. Si nime nasomaga. Nikamwambia sasa shika Biblia yako. Tusome pole. Pole. Nikamfunza pole pole akaniambia. Oh. Nikushika sijawahi. Sasa sikiliza mahali fungu la kumi linafaa kupelekwa. Rudia dio bishop wako asikie mara ya sita bring the whole tithe bring the whole tithe into the storehouse into the storehouse that that there may, may be food sikiliza in my house sikiliza sikiliza vizuri fungu la 10 linakununua chakula that there may be food in my house kumetajwa storehouse na kukatajwa mae ama mnafikiri ni biblia yake mtoe yenu sikiliza vizuri that there may be food 
in my house. This is God who is commanding a human being. Anamwambia, bring all tithes into the store house that there may be food in my house. Umeaza kushika vizuri? Ama uzomewa na kiswahili? Nani ya kona shida ya kushika kizungu? Diyo nataka ikuingie. Ya kuomba leteni sadaka na fungu zenu katika gala. Hili ni gala? Mumejenga gala? Hapo ndiyo fungu la kumi linafaa kuenda. Hili katika nyumba ya mungu kuwe na chakula cha kutosha ukiingia kanisa upate hakuna chakula kuna shida ukiingia kanisani upate kuna kanisa haina chakula kuna shida na uko na uwezo wa kuuliza swali mumeniambia hapa hakuna pasta huwa unapeleka wapi fungu la Nilisikia mchungaji mwingine akisema fungu la kumi ni mshahara wa wa pastors ni uongo. Nyinyi ndio mnafaa kuweka mchungaji wenu vizuri kama mnataka. Najua sio lazima. Lakini fungu la kumi si ni haya maandiko yanasema. Nani yako na ya Kiswahili? Hili watu wote waelewe vile ninasema. Kwa sababu tukifunza kuhusu fungu la kumi a lot of people huwa wanatuingilia sana. Kwa sababu hawataki watu wafunguke macho kuhusu fungu la la kumi. Na ni vizuri wachungaji hata wale tuko nao hapa jifunzeni kufanya kazi kwa mikono yenu. Hawa washirika ni watu hatari sana. Ndio maana mimi huamka mimi huamka saa tisa. Si huwa mnanisikiza kwa redio saa sa, sa kumina mbili. Mimi huamka saa tisa. Kwa nini mimi huenda kufanya kazi kwa mikono yangu? Kwa sababu ninajua hawa washirika Ukitegemea hawa utakuwa their slave. Hawa watakuwa na kufanyisha maibada zingine unaombea paka ubwa za bekali. Hawa. Pasta. Hello. Uko wapi pasta? Kwa sababu wewe tegemeo lako umeweka kwa hawa. Ugetweka tumetaki raya maguteithie. Ugo tweka gobo yao. Mm, Ulitako kinya ni itoga. Uka wele guizia mafura vreki. Pasta, hena ngu indira guli de South Africa hii. Indira mego di rengiri maga na mata tui. Mne gwenda gerutero higo ngo nari ya kwa mokiru o Kenya. Todu newe, wamo nirie ni umarolete, iguru. Ukorake aposto mugi matawe. Uhuje tia graduation ya mwana wa pipitu. Aya, dira uwa neuru. Nobi na hujia nini amu wakutuma mawira mariko. Ule ruti dhagi yo mawira moru. We. Todo urolete ya igu. We korage dukaine ya wadada. Uruga metebele ya abura. Uki amura aduka. Papa, tukeno mwadhani. Ni anguo siya dhini. Gai ya barari ya. We, uwe kora mawira ini moru munu. Fanya kazi kwa mikono yako mchungaji. When you have your own money. Even your followers will respect you. Yes. Mimi niko na mshahara. Watoe sadaka wasitoe. Mimi niko. Ni kanisa yao itakatu wa stima na maji. Sio mimi, sio kwangu. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord's store is what I'm talking about. Dio mahali unafaa kama kasisi kupereka fungu la kumi la hawa watu. Dio kama katika hili kanisa kuna mjane anaenda hapo. Kama kuna watoto ya atima wanaingia hapo. Kama kuna mfanyikazi wa mjengo na ameenda foreman hawa kukuja jioni anapita hapo. Anapatiwa unga gapi? Na nikufunze kwa sababu kwetu inafanyika. Na unajua kwetu hujawahi ingia lodsto unakosa chakula, mafuta, mchele, chumvi, viazi, boga kwa sababu huwa tumewafunza. Leo tumekupea kwa sababu hauna. Na wewe kesho ukipata ulete. Ile 
Lord store si akupea chakula mtu aishi maisha yake yote that Lord store is for restoring hope to these people inawapea matumaini ya kwamba leo nimegonga mwamba na wacha nikwambie wale watu wanatutazama hata kwa TV JCM TV usiwahi jipiga kifua kwa sababu uko na mali hata wenye mali hujipata wamekosa eh unajua wale watu wako na pesa tukiongea haya mambo wanaonaka kama ni ujinga ndio unaona makanisa mengine kuna makanisa yanapiga the lord so vibaya sana kwa sababu wote huenda kama wame drive sisi tuko na washirika ambao hawajiwezi na lazima waingie katika moyo wetu na wacha nikwambie nimekuambia ujiandae na ujitayarishe ile lord store inakujaga na watu wake iko na watu wake eh utashtuka sana hata sio washirika wako watakuwa nakujia chakula ukienda kwetu JCM chakula juu kwa sababu tunafunguaga saa 10 na na na, na, na five. saa kumi na moja mpaka saa mbili ya usiku sisi ufungua the lord store hayo masaa halafu tumejenga kisiagi huyu anajua ndio unasikia akisema kuhusu kisiagi anakopi kila kitu yetu hiyo portion meal tunakuwaga tumeiweka hapo kwa sababu kuna watu wengine wako na mahindi lakini hawana pesa so huwa tunasiagia mtu kama uko na 50 bob na uko na gorogoro mbili hiyo 50 bob tunakwambia enda ununue mboga kanisa inasimamia stima praise the name of the lord kwa sababu mimi sio mchungaji mjinga nimepitia shida ninajua shida ni kusema nini Ninajua kulala njaa ni kusema nini. And that is why I decided hakuna mshirika wa JCM atawahi lala njaa na yeye hutoa fungu na sadaka. Maandiko yamesema vizuri. Sasa wacha nikufunze kitu. Utakapo T sheria ya Mungu kuhusu fungu la kumi ni nini kinafanyika? Soma hapo kwa Kiswahili. Soma kwanza kwa Kiswahili pale kuhusu fungu la kumi. Inasema hivi Uh-huh. Leteni za, zaka kamili garani L- Leteni zaka kamili Sikiliza hapa Ujue <laughs> Your faithfulness Is being tested by God Through this Na diyo unasikia ana insist kamili Juu wengi wetu niwezi Unaigiawa mfuko Unatoa tu hile pesa Kwaza nyinyi matajiri wapa umukona pesa Hata hamujogi fungurenu la kumi ni pesa ngapi Harafu unangalia pasta hivi na umegonga deal ya milioni kumi. Ukiangalia pasta wenu hivi unaona hafai kupewa milioni moja. Ndio unaona pasta mwingine anahubiria matajiri. Wanajenga magorofa lakini kanisa lake na yeye ni maskini. Kwa sababu akiangalia hivi anaona amegonga deal ya milioni ishirini. Fungu la kumi ni pesa ngapi? Ukiangalia pasta wenu hivi <laughs> anaendeshaka dai hasu zile Suzuki zilikuwa za veti na lewa kitambo. Ukimwangalia hivi unaona hai, mimi siwezi kupatia milioni mbili. Hapana siwezi. Sio mchungaji unapatia. It is not about the past. It is your faithfulness that is being tested by God. Niwaulize swali moja. Mnataka kuniambia hii Kenya hakuna mtu utengeneza milioni mia moja? Ako, milioni mia moja, fungu la kumi ni pesa ngapi? Si ni milioni kumi. Niambie ni mtu gani huyo unaona akipeleka. <laughs> milioni kumi karo yo lero. Ah, watu niwezi. Ushawahi sikia mtu anatoa fungu la kumi la milioni mia mbili ako na bilioni mbili. Tulisikia mama mwingine juzi ameshikiwa mafuta na serikali. Ati mafuta yake sijui imeenda. Ulisikia hiyo mafuta ilikuwa ya pesa ngapi? 17 17 billion. Kwa hivyo anafaa kutoa fungu la kumi la pesa ngapi? 1.7 billion unafikiria anaweza atatonya hara na 1.7 billion anayana kanitha hawezi haki ya Mungu hawezi na masikini wale watu ambao ni masikini wataupata ufalme wa mbinguni haraka sana ndio maana unasikia biblia inasema masikini anaweza ingia mbinguni lakini tajiri ni kama kuingia tu na shindano kwa sababu hawa watu ni waaminifu sana Mtu ako na elfu kumi, anakuanga mwaminifu sana. Jua naangalia naona 10% ni elfu. Na unajua Mungu huitisha pesa kidogo sana. 10 only 
percent 90% anakuachia lakini huwezi sikia siulize hata hao waheshimiwa waulize ukweli wa mambo mheshimiwa topiko unataka kuniambia nyinyi na mshishi hamjawahi kuza milioni 20 Ushawahi chukua mbili zikiwa kash ukapeleka kama umenyamaza kwa chondo <laughs> kwa chondo za fungu la 10 ujue 10% is a measure of faithfulness from god na ndio unasikia anasema leta ebu soma vizuri tusikie mahali fungu la 10 linafaa kwenda leteni zaka kamili galani leteni zaka kamili Galani the store gala si kanizani sio hapa ndani hii gala hii ni nyumba ya maombi this is my house as say the lord and my house shall be called a house of prayer this is not a store praise the name of jesus amen halafu hapo anasema nini ukipeleka fungu la 10 katika gala eh uh-huh. ili kiwemo chakula katika nyumba yangu ili kiwemo chakula katika hii nyumba so when you have a store there automatically there is food in this now after that command now comes a leeway to blessings anasema ukiwa mwaminifu na hivyo nimesema ehe mkinijaribu kwa njia hiyo hebu sikiliza you know you don't try people unajua watu kama hawa wana siasa they are powerful people you cannot try them huwezi ukitaka kujua mosisho akitoka pale enda usimame mbele ya gari yake na ukatalie hapo kuna mahali utaguzwa na utaenda haraka nyumbani <laughs> kuna mahali hawa wale polisi hulinda hawa hata hawakufuzwa mambo mengi lakini kuna mahali wanaingizaga mkono kwa bavu unasikia kuna kajia hapo na ukishikwa hivi kuna lock mtu huwekwa na unakaa two hours ukifanya hivi kwa sababu you cannot try them but god almighty has given you a chance to try him god has given you an opportunity to try him mungu anasema sasa nijaribu anasema nijaribu hivyo ehe asema bwana wa majeshi mungu anasema ukitimiza hivyo ni mimi unajaribu ehe Mujue kama sitawafungulia madirisha ya binguni. Mkifanya vile nimesema, nitawafungulia madirisha ya binguni na kuamwagieni baraka. Na hebu sikiliza, nyinyi huambia Mungu, Mungu ninakuomba niwekee baraka katika mkono wangu hapana. Mungu ni kumwaga. Baraka anasema ati hebu rudia hapo. Mujue kama sitawafungulia madirisha ya binguni. Mujue kama sitawafungulia madirisha ya binguni na kuamwagia baraka. Alafu niwamwagie baraka hata isiwe nafasi ya kutosha au la. Mpaka katika maisha yenu mkose nafasi ya kuweka hiyo baraka. Kuanzia leo change maombi yako. Ambia Mungu nimwagie baraka. Kwanza ya kizungu inasema flood, eh? Soma kizungu inasema hivi eh? says the lord almighty eh? and see if i will not throw open flood gates of heaven and see if i will not open flood gates of heaven and pour out so much blessings and pour out so much blessings nataka niwaulize swali wakati sisi huingia hapa huja kutafuta nini no si muongee si mko na the lord sto mtapewa unga mkipata njaa huwa tunakuja hapa kutafuta nini baraka, baraka. si ndio lakini ushawahi kufikiria baraka hupitia hapo Mungu naomba unibariki mpaka unajishika west hapa ukangadhiria gai umwelaka kinya dogiuma ndingiuma ha ha na dohea na geshuje No ni ranga dhiri ya origina kenya kai kinya koguru da kwero ndingi uma ha ha otanda vimete na we moishi wage shuje na no aigua kora irathi mosi ka hata hapa mtu moja ainue mkono hapa 
kwa mtu mmoja ainue mkono mwenye leo amechukua simu yake akapigia mama yake akamwambia mam nakupenda ulifanya vizuri kuniza mam i love you so much angalia simu yako mama akiangalia aone hata sio pesa mingi giri giri na uko hapa ndingiuma if you live a compassionate lifestyle blessings becomes evident sasa mtu kama mimi ukiniuliza nani angefikiria wakati kama huu ningekuwa askofu hako na hizo kanisa zote nchini nani angefikiria but compassion has made it easier for me kile kilifanya yesu akubalike ni compassion Praise the name of the Lord. Maana sisi wote tulikuwa tunasema hali ya hodhe jeswadhiaga. Duki kawega utari nadha. Hauwezi tenda mema kama hauna huruma. Compassion itakupeleka mahali masomo haijawahi. <laughs> Mimi compassion nimenifunza paka kizungu. Siku anajua kizungu. Ulikuwa unaniuliza are you pastor Ben? Yes I are. You will say hi to your family, won't you? Yes, won't me. <laughs> Compassion will make you sit with people who are who in this nation. Mimi wakati nilipigia uhuru Kenya na simu yangu akachukua. Nilisema, "Guy, yani compassion imefanya former president anichukulie simu na anitumie milioni moja nipatie watu siku kuu." Unajua siku anaamini. Mimi paka wakati zilifika zikaletwa na mtu anaitwa Anderson akaniletea zikiwa kwa bahasha milioni moja. Na sasa compassion inakufanyaka uwe faithful by fire. You must be faithful. Juu hiyo simu nilipiga tuliwekaka microphone hapa. Kwa hivyo kila mtu alikuwa hiyo kanisa alijua kuna pesa ngapi zimepeanwa. Sasa ilipidi nipige simu kwa Bansora Milas nikamwambia tuwekeeni unga ya 1 million. Kwa sababu ni zao, compassion pesa sio zako ngaruia. Umejenga the Lord store. Sasa kile kimebaki ni uaminifu wako kupeleka fungu la kumi hapo. Utakuwa unaona na kiatu imeinama hivi na the Lord store imejaa. Na hakuna kitu utafanya kwa sababu uaminifu wako ndio utakuletea baraka. That is why watu wanauliza na JCM inatoa wapi watu? Ni uaminifu. Faithfulness na mimi wacha nikwambie hakuna siku nitakuwa na shida. Dugitaidia mtu na yoge thina. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Why do I preach compassion? Kwa nini ninaambukiza watu tuhubiri injiri ya huruma na utu? Kwa sababu hiyo ndiyo injiri peke yake ambayo haiwezi pakwa matope. Hii injiri nyingine inapakwa matope hata inakosa kuaminika let me tell you garuia leo hata ukiponya kiwete hapa watu watasema ni uongo <laughs> hata kiwete kichukue miti hapa watu watasema ni uongo lakini ukivisha mtu alikuwa na nguo mzee utoke pale nje umnunulie nguo mpya na kiatu hiyo ni muujiza ambao umeonekana kwa macho compassion is the only gospel that cannot be diluted Juzi kule kwetu kanisani ulikuwa ukuje sijui ulienda nje kuna mzee kanisani kwetu yuko na kansa si mlimuona kama huu kuona useme tuko nyumbani mwa baba si mliona huyo mzee ako na kansa na ako na watoto wawili wako na cerebral palsy na ni mshirika wangu na ni dereva wa matatu So a story came. Yule mzee huwa anapenda hata leo sijui kwa nini sikukuja na yeye. Huwa simwachi because he is a testimony. Yeye ni dereva wa matatu. Story kanifikia. Kama mabasi zimekimbia rashawa. Yeye hubeba town kuita kwa Gumba Estate, matatu za huko. Akiwa katikati ya barabara macho ikapotea. Na ni rashawa. Gari ikasimama 
na nirashawa gari zinapita hivi kabla karibu wa, uri, wa, 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 wa auwe watu akaulizwa na, na abiria ni nini wewe mzee akawaambia mimi nakuaga na kansa na niko na watoto wawili wale mavu na sisi wote tunakunywa dawa so ile pesa nilipata niliona mimi nikae bila dawa nikanunulia watoto kwanza matatu yote wakashikana wakachangia dereva wa hiyo matatu sasa hiyo story ikaletwa kuletwa ni mshirika wangu nikasema nataka kujua kwake nikaenda kwake mweki bahati mzuri nikapata ndio hao watoto wanarudishwa kwa nyumba wako kwa hili hawawezi tembea wanafungiliwa kamba from that floor inafungwa wheelchair na wheelchair wanavutwa na neighbors wanaingishwa kwao kanyumba ka one bedroom machozi ikanitoka kwa sababu kama huwezi ona mtu akona na shida machozi itoke wewe hata ufalme wa mbinguni kuona Mungu wapendi watu wamekauka Biblia Daudi alisema niumbie moyo mpya moyo wa kunyenyekea Mungu hupenda watu ambao hubondeka Usipenda wale watu wanasema mimi naona kanisa watu wakilia na shida ni upusi gani wako nayo mimi mimi hiyo ujinga siwezi fanya mimi ni mwanaume siwezi ilia mpaka mkiomba amekaa hivi nyinyi wote mumezama mko in tongues wengine wanaita Yesu wengine machozi inatiririka hapa yeye amesimama hivi Ulimosi yote kiruta wako ndani Yeye ndiye atakao limodeleta ni digere atamodomoka Huyo mtu hata ufalme wa mbinguni kupata atakao amekaukiwa tu hivyo Praise the name of the Lord wakati machozi ni nitoka nikauliza Mungu what can i do as a servant of god kwa sababu acha nikwambie apostle ngaruya tukifika mbinguni hautaambiwa welcome apostle hautaambiwa welcome bishop hautaambiwa welcome doctor utaambiwa welcome my faithful servant and as we are waiting for jesus to come back you just do what waiters do they serve praise the name of the lord nikaambia mungu how and what can i do to change this life nikaongea na washirika wangu they know my heart nikawaambia na nikawaonyesha uzuri nilifanya video ya si mnajua na kuana kipindi kameme tv ya kusaidiana saturday and sunday nikaweka kipindi hapo wakati niliweka kipindi one hour tulikuwa tumepata 2 million 2 million tukapata pesa yake ya dawa ya watoto na ya kumsukuma nikaongea na washirika nikawauliza what can we do tukaenda washirika tukashikana tukanunua shamba pale mala na tukamjengea three bedroom nikaambia Mungu usiwahi kubali tena hao watoto wasukumwe kutoka kwa gorofa wacha wakae kwao mahali wanasukuma gari hivi wanakaa hapo nje hata watoto wa hiyo proti walikuwa wanasema hawawezi cheza na, na viwete huyo mzee tulimfungulia tulimpatia hiyo nyumba tarehe kumi na mbili siku ya ya sherehe tukapa pale kanisa tukachinja tukacelebrate tukafungua nyumba tukampatia huyo mzee ukimwangalia saa hii ameanza kunona compassion heals people if you cannot heal people through miracles heal them through compassion Sande hii wale utazama JCM mimi najua nyinyi wote ni wa JCM ni vile mnashiriki hapa <laughs> Si hata yeye ni wa JCM si umuulize lazima muangalie vile tumeshinda si ni ukweli yes. Farodhi alikuwa Sande si ulikuwa Sande nikaletoa katoto kama Masai Ken kanaitwa Jonel kutoka Narok Sande ule alikuwa tulikuwa na ule aliabudu kwetu Sande Mama ametoka all the way from Narok akasema mimi sisi tumeangalia na mahali tunajua tunaweza saidika ni hapa kwako imagine all the way from narok mtoto roho yake inakuwa kubwa zaidi halafu madaktari wa Kenya they misdiagnosed her so walikuwa wanampea zile dawa hazifai zikaharibu huo moyo so hawezi fanywa operation she is being maintained na dawa kila mwezi huyo mama na hana kazi na akipata kazi ni ya kufua huyo mama uhitajika 16000 kila mwezi dawa za huyo mtoto sande wale walitazama you can go to our sande service kuangalia kwa youtube mimi nikaambia washirika wakaanza kulia kwetu huwa tunakata vitunguu sana 
nikasimamisha mtoto hawezi hata kusimama hawezi tembea kutoka hapa mpaka hapo juu ya kuhema moyo na hawezi fanywa kitu kama anaweza fanywa si nimepeleka watu wengi sana India kama anaweza fanywa anaweza nikapeleka lakini hawezi lakini mama yake anahitaji pesa nikasema mtoto awekewe kiti hapo mama yake simama hapa kwa TV na kwa Facebook zetu weka namba yake saidieni huyo mama within 10 minutes Kalonzo Musyoka walikuwa wamesoma kwetu kanisani Kalonzo akasimama na mia wa, wa, wandai akasimama na mia huyo mwingine within 10 minutes or so tukapata 1.3 million sasa karibu sana mchungaji kiarie sasa saa hii tunaongea na nyinyi huyo mama anaenda kuweka ka biashara narok ili apatage dawa kwa urahisi ya huyo mtoto Munataka huyo mama aseme hajaona Mungu. Compassion is a miracle that can be seen spiritually and physically. Imagine unakuja ukiwa maskini unarudi nyumbani ukiwa milionea. It is only compassion that can do that. Alafu Mungu awasaidie muwe na kasisi ambaye hajipendi. Ukiwa na kasisi ambaye hajipendi Ah, hii kanisa yenu itakuwa a heaven, a little heaven on earth. Na muhame hapa. Amen. Watu wakiembrace compassion hawawezi toshea hapa. Sasa upende usipende, hapa lazima muhame. Amen. Compassion itawaondoa hapa. Hamutatoshea. Si mimi nawaambia ukweli. Kanisa letu liko na miezi tisa mosisho kutoka nitoke mainstream. Na tuko na washirika 1700 sasa. Na tuko na miezi tisa. Huyu ako na miaka tatu. Isi the thing you give No compassion. No yuko kwa heria ha ha. Amen. Compassion itawafuse muondoke hapa. Hapa mnaondoka. Start preparing for Exodus. Start preparing for Exodus. Amen. Compassion It is the only gospel italeta watu. Kabila Sasa unaona baka wa Korinto wamekaa hapa vizuri sana unazafikiria ni kanisa yao unazafikiria hata sisi tuko na vilemba vile wamefanya nini wametulia. It is only compassion kwetu kanisani tuko na wa Korinto zaidi ya mia tatu. Yes, hata niko na kanisa liko na pastor wa Korinto. It is only compassion that can bring them here na wasikie wametoshereka. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Wachana na kizungu mingi. Ingia compassion. Wachana na kuita God God. Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. God God here asa. No, wacha kizungu mingi. Ingia kufanya kazi kwa matendo. Tutahukumiwa kwa matendo sio kwa maneno. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. And finally, ndio nimalize twende tukafungue the Lord store. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Najua hiyo hii injili ni ngumu. Haipendwi sana lakini hatuna hatuna haja ya kupendwa sana. Haja yetu ni kuona ufalme wa mbinguni. Hmm? Na mimi nawaambiaga muache uoga. You know I'm a very I'm a very courageous man. Mimi sinaga uoga. Vile umekuja tuna face ya naga namna hiyo i was ordained in independent church na mnajua vile kuna kaanga huko amen. amen now as christians na ndio nikaambia apostle ngaruia na nikaambia mchungaji kiari hata kiari ameanza compassion niliona akipeana chakula eh zilikuona alikuwa anapeana chakula sana kwanza niliona posta yako online Compassion Sunday nikajua imetamba hii imeenda nikajua hii imeenda eh yeah? kwa niliona kiari ameweka CFF kitengela Compassion Sunday nikajua bas injili imeanza kufanya nini imeanza kutembea na watafanya watafanya compassion wapende hakuna tena injili ya kujipenda kiari hatutaendesha magari makubwa washirika wetu wakiwa na njaa Hatutabeba washirika ufala tena. Washirika hatutawabeba ufala tena. Ati mimi nikihitaji gari nikiwa kasisi ninawaletea kadi na kuita waheshimiwa. Mm. I Reverend Ben JCM Church Cordially. 
cordially invite you to buy my ministerio. <laughs> ministerio? Nani gari ya yezi fuguliwa uingie? Ministerio? Mimi na waita mchango. Lakini ni kitaka yako. Ukitaka yako, na kuwabia ukuja tuombe. Unahitaji gari dada? Juju matano, deliverance Sunday, Wednesday. Tutaomba mungu na tuamini utapata gari. Uongo. Gari ni kununuliwa. You go and buy. Sasa isipokuwa ni huyu amekuja akasema atanipea kaproti kamoja huyu mzee mpie ni makovi. Unataka kuniambia kuna vile ningepiga magoti hapa nijipate kwa hiyo Atlanta Gardens. The get pass to that garden is money. Na tuache kufanya vitu zingi na vituko mingi. Na tuodoe hii njiri tunafanya kila siku. Sasa unaweza kuta nyinyi wote hapa tuko mwaka mpya. Mwaka mpya ni kusema huu mwaka hauna kitu. Lakini tukambia hapa muombe open your mouth and speak to the Lord. Unaanza kuwa enemies. Na kuskata na arrows to the sender. Hii vitu wacheni vitu mingi. Na sa hizo ukisimamishwa hapo. Uulizwe. Nyamaza kido. Who is your enemy? Eh? Sina kuuliza. Nimesikia ukisikata your enemies. Ni akina nani tutume polisi. Sababu enemy sio kusikata na kukil wanatumua polisi. Umuulize ni wagani. Nilisikia Soleman akiomba hivyo scatter by fire by mighty. Na ule mtu anaskata by fire hata unaona hiyo mdomo vinatembea haiwezi toka fire. I scatter by fire by mighty by fire. Na, vitu zingine wachana nazo. Ati all oh, arrows back to the center alafu ulizwe Senda ni nani? Nisisikia kwa TV wakiomba hivyo. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. When you have Jesus Christ, protection is, is, is assured. When you have Jesus, protection is assured. Mimi zamani nikuwa naomba maombi baya sana. Ya kukasi. Siku hizi nilijifunza. Whenever I open my mouth, I bless. Kidogo nige kasirishwa na kakitu kadogo. Nilikuwa naanza kukasi na kuua. Wacheni kuua ene mesikira siku. Mutaua my, your uncles na cousins. Sasa, uyu una, unaobea ene mesi. Mimi nakujua. Nitakuwa adu yako waje. Madu iweki wako kwenu nyubani. Utaanza kukasi na kukila hapa. Ukaigua mama wanyone yaku ya wage dhoguri. Oka ikarakara, oka destroy, allows back to the center. Narigine kazi ni yaku, rara gia maudu masio. Kaiwa nigine mweto madhi kogetari. If you open your mouth, every person speaks what is in them. Hawa wawiri ukiwapatia microphone, usigoje wa kuhubirie. Hawa ni wanasiasa. Uyu siya metoka hapa saa hii. Ame wahubiria. Ame itisha nini. Kwa sababu hicho ndicho kilicho ndani yake. Kwa hivyo kama Mkristo jifunze kuongea baraka kwa sababu unaongea kile ambacho kimejaa ndani yako. Always learn to speak blessings because from the uh, abundance of your heart the mouth speaketh. Kile ambacho kimejaa ndani yako ndicho hutoka. Kwa hivyo kama wewe umejaa baraka anza kubariki wengine. Praise the name of the Lord. In the book of James. Fungua. In the book of James. Yon di yonamaliza na yon naona masaa yetu ni mazuri sasa. James 1 verse 27. James 1. This is the reason into why I preach compassion. Because I don't just want to find myself in unknown and unknown denomination. Unajua watu wanajisifu na makanisa sana siku hizi. Na ndio mimi nikasema JCM ni kanisa la watu wote. Injiri bila hukumu. Kwa sababu kanisa tumefika mahali tukatosheka na watu wameokoka. Mimi hata nilikuwa naambia Mungu kama watu wakiokoka wanaweza fagiriwa, wanapelekwa mahali pengine unawekewa wenye dhambi tena uhubirie. 
hiyo ndio injili ambayo inavaa tumetosheka na watu wameokoka wote paka tunajuana kwa majina unakuta kuna kanisa wanajuana wote kwa sababu watu hawaokoki there is no revival because of comfort i don't want to find myself in a certain religion that is unknown the reason into why i preach compassion it is because compassion it is the only religion that jesus approved tunajizifu sana na makanisa kanisa letu ni kubwa limejenga tuko na mabasi tuko na mashule halafu unauliza mtu mmefanya hayo mambo yote what are you doing for the body of christ that is why mimi nimekuja kingdom seekers glorious that is why nilikuwa kwa cff because i am not building a religion i am building the body of jesus christ tuka tuache kujisifu na dini right now watu wanajisifu na dini he afadhali kanisa yetu afadhali yetu afadhali yetu sisi yetu sisi yetu hakuna yesu wa kanisa yenu ati ufikirie yesu wa kanisa dogo ako amevaa kinyasa na t-shirt ya aseno na slippers Arafu ufikiria Yesu wa kanisa kubwa analetagwa na limousine. Hii malingo mko nayo wa Kristo iise. Hakuna Yesu wenu. Ati sasa ufikiria Yesu wa kanisa ya watu wamekaa hapa watu watano na wako na hema. Ufikiria Yesu wao ako mahali akichana. Ati kwa sababu ya vile wamefinyika. Vile vile hakuna binguni yenu peke yenu. Hata pasta wenu watembee hivi asitoe sauti na miguu na ukimsalimia hujambo mchungaji haleluya praise god hakuna binguni ya Yesu wake na kuanzia leo kama mkristo usitishwe kwa majina ya dini don't be intimidated with the name religion it is all useless the body of Jesus Christ is the core goal of the gospel Uzidisho na mtu kanisa letu hata wajenge gorofa kumi. hilo ni jengo Nani anasema kwa hii kanisa tuko counter haiwezi toshea hapa Hata hii madhabahu ikiwa hapa tukiachilia hii kanisa inaweza kuwa baa mzuri sana Hapa ukutange pale ni counter grasi zinaoshewa hapo Alafu huyo mlango ya kwenda ofisi washroom Mm. Hili ni jengo tu. TV ukute zikiona mpira. Na hizi speaker uone mtu hapa, waidhakawaje ni hapa. Hapa juu. Ina mwigene wado haria, mata hudhagira kala iko hiju ina kodi kagushie na ningu thie gukoma. Oh ha tori, no ha odheke na jirege, but no one will ever intrude in the body of Jesus Christ. No one will ever change the purpose of the gospel. No one will ever change the purpose of the body of Jesus Christ. Wacheni kujenga mambo na dini. Tujenge mwili wa Kristo. That is why niko kanisa aliitwa JCM. Mimi nimekuja kujenga mwili. Hili ni jengo. Praise the name of Jesus. Goko ukuta hizi chuma zenu zikitelemka na strippers. Wewe unaona ikiwa kanisa because of the purpose. Lakini hili ni jengo tu. Linaweza kuombolewa na watu wengine mkiondoka. Na hapa upatage wasichana wameshikilia na ni madhabahu bakas bakas bakas. Hapa. Hapa. Hili linaweza badilishwa. Wacha kulinga na majengo ya dini. Wacha kulinga na vitambaa za dini. Wacha kulinga na tai na suti za dini. Kama unafaa kulinga, ulinge jinsi unavyotengeneza mwili wa Yesu. Cha kulinga na majina ya magroup za kanisa. Hizo ni za hapa duniani na kuzikwa. Itaisha kaburini. Utafika mbinguni waambia Yesu, eh uitwe hapo jenu hapo hii. Eh Jesu madakansu. Hiyo unawacha hapa. Ate Jesu ema edewa giro di. Aha, hiyo inawachwa. Hapa 
tujenge mwili wa Kristo kama kuna mwili tutatumia kuvuka mto wa kifo ni mwili wa Kristo dini zitaachwa hapa kiarie wakati utakufa jina CFF litabaki hapa praise the name of the lord Amen. the core goal of the gospel is to build the body of Jesus Christ unajua kuna pastor unaweza ita kanisa yako akwaza kukuja umuandikia hata barua kwa heshima sana Aangalie hiyo barua hivi. Naambia wazee wa kanisa siwezi enda kama huku. Halafu uniambie tutafika mbinguni. T- Kuna watu wataingia mbinguni wa Kristo muachwe hapo nje. Mm. We are so busy to build buildings. But we are very lazy in building the body of Jesus Christ. Kuanzia wakati niliingia hapa TV yetu imesimamisha matangazo tuoneshane kanisa ambalo sio JCM It is not about here It is about the kingdom of God It is about the body of Jesus Christ Hata nyinyi mkikaka mkisikia kukuja mnaingia basi na nguo zenu za green mnakuja mnaimba JCM Eh anakuja anawakosa Nauliza mko wapi ni building the body of Christ tuko JCM tunaiba huko leo. Anauli sasa tutafanya nini? Mnamwambia hata wewe uko na koo. Ama uhubiri kuanzia asubuhi baka. It is about building the body of Jesus Christ. Let us be busy building the body, not the religion. Na ndio unaona watu wakisema religion is a scam. Kwa sababu ya tabia zetu. Ni tabia zetu zinafanya watu waseme religion is a scam ni tabia zetu kwa sababu unakuta mkristo ametokea kanisa akiwa na njaa hana chakula watoto wake hawana chakula na ametoka kanisa halafu anafika kwa proti anapata mulevi anamwambia baba mwangi sasa mzuri sana sasa mzuri ndio mnatoka kanisa eh hey, baba mwangi ndio tumetoka kanisa mmehubiriwa aje eh hey. Alafu baba mwangine nilikuwa nakuuliza mimi nimekaa vibaya. Azuma kaa vibaya. Gai, uko na sida. Baka mulevi ndiye ako na roho ya huruma. Gai, uko na sida. E, watoto wangu jana tulilala nja na leo sijafaniki. Gai, baka anakukasirikia. Watoto wanalala nja nikiwa hapa. Kwani unakaje wewe mama? Watoto wako wanakula wangu walikusuge sema waletwe kwangu wakule. Yaani mlevi ako na huruma kushinda wa Kristo ambao umeshinda nao. That is why tunaambiwa religion is a scam. Kwa sababu wale wako nje wanaona tunafanana a scam. Kwa sababu ya tabia zetu. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Mtoto analia ja na hapo nje unasikia mlevi amesema sina pesa miki <laughs> lakini simia tano itatosha yani kwenye umeshinda kanisa kuna mkristo anaweza kosa mia tano na asikue maskini siku nao wanaweza toa elfu moja wakupatie na wabaki wakiwa sawa lakini mlevi ndiye ako na huruma huyo mlevi kesho anakwambiaga wewe mwenyewe aisee nikwambie hiyo upuzi Mnakuwa na kanisa. Tumesinda kwa kanisa na hawezi pewa pesa na mimi nimekupe. Hiyo si siyesi kuja kanisa. Na ni sisi tunazuia watu ku join the body of Jesus Christ. Kwa sababu ya tabia zetu watu hawapendi kanisa. Praise the name of the Lord. Kwa sababu wachungaji wakichukua microphone vita. Waimbaji wakichukua microphone vita. Kurushiana cheche za maneno wakisimama hapa hata nyimbo zina target watu si tunainua mikono kube wimbo ina target mtu wamekosana tu hapa ndani advantage yeye ni praise leader tena kwa inadwa gai na mokenyi ni thiana gai ni akumurathima hura ilo he aige moiga gane agima ruiboro ere ke irio mudu na tulio ha wananyaganyana mabwana na wako hapa Anaomba wimbo hapa anaanza kuimba Onagaria ne kule moi 
Goma. Inyo mo inagia mo ere koko na ne de mano ane adu ere na tuko kanisani. If we have to build the body of Jesus Christ, we have also to change our character as the disciples and followers of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Sasa unakuda ati sasa, mimi ni, mimi ni, wivu utoke wapi, ati mbaka ni seme, garu ya nafungua the road stores, wezi yenda huko anani copy. Why should I do that? I am supposed to come, empower him. Mimi ni dimuuliza, uko na wanja ni kuletea truck ya road show tufanyie inje. Kani ambio mchugai, ya sante. Zile vitu umetupea, zimetosha. Nili muambia, babasi zifuatane. Zikuje. Haka niambia, we. Hata mahali tuko, roli haiwezi. Yes, because it is about the body of Jesus Christ. Hii maringo tuko nayo itaisha. Hii majina tuko nayo. Hata uitwe nani, jina gani. Eh, apostle, doctor. Cardinal, pop ngaroya. Ah, dugu yangu. Wakati watasikia kamchanga juu ya jeneza, papa papa papa, hii imeishia. Lakini matendo mema. Matendo mema. Matendo mema yatakufuata hata ukiwa kaburini. Wale watoto ninasomesha hata nikifa hawatasahau. Watasema kulikuwa na askofu mmoja. Alinilipia shule that is why I am like this today. Matendo mema hayata sahaulika. Mafupa ya Elia. Yalikuwa nafufua mtu mpaka akiwa amekufa. That is why nilisema. When I watched the... Wakati niliangalia hii video inatembea ya TB Joshua. Nilisema he might and he was a powerful man of God. Unapigwa vita ukiwa uhai. Na ukiwa kaburini. Bado unapigwa. You are a man of God. Yes. Unapigwa ukiwa uhai na ukiwa umekufa. Bado unapigwa. Wewe ni mtu wa Mungu. Mimi hayo ndio maisha nataka. Nataka hii inchi. Wale wachungaji washawahi fanya impact wakitajwa. Jina Reverend Ben linaapia hapo. Na sio kwa sababu ya kitu kingine kuguza moyo wa Kristo kupitia kutenda mema. Nataka tusome huo mstari. Yakobo ni moja. Yakobo moja. Uh -huh. Inasema hivi. Sikiliza Yakobo vile inasema. Di Dini iliyo safi Sikiliza vizuri Dini iliyo safi Sio JCM Dini iliyo safi Sio Kingdom Seekers Glorious Dini iliyo safi Pastor Carrie Sio CFF Dini iliyo safi Sio Catholic Dini iliyo safi Sio PCA Dini iliyo safi Ni gani Isiyo nataka mbele za mungu baba ni I, hii. Sikiliza. Isiyo nataka mbele za mungu baba. Dini hiyo ni hii. Kuenda kuatazama yatima. Kuenda kutazama mayatima. Na wajane. Kuenda kuangalia wajane. Katika dhiki yao. Katika dhiki na shida zao. Na kujilinda na dunia pasipo mawa. Na kujilinda na hii dunia pasipo uchafu. Hiyo ndiyo dini. Hiyo ndiyo dini ilio. Safi. Na mimi ni wa hiyo dini. Hebu rudia hawa watu wa shike. Dini ilio safi. Dini. I... Soma na kizungu. Kizungu inaingia. Dini ilio safi. Mimi ni wa hiyo dini nao semu wa sasa. Mimi hada ukipatana na mimi. JCM ni jina na serikali. Tujulikane tupo. Hilo jina. Aposto ngaru ya alirejesta. Ndiyo serikali ijue ako. Hapa, mimi si wajina, mimi ni wahii religion. Soma ya kizungu. Pure religion. Pure religion. And under field before God and the Father mm -hmm. is this. This is now the pure religion. To visit the fatherless. To visit the fatherless. And widows. To visit widows. And their infliction. In their inflictions. And to keep himself. And to keep yourself. Unspotted, unspotted from the world. From the world. Asante. Dini ilio safi ni hiyo. Kueka the Lord's so, ya tima wakujie chakula, wajane wakujie chakula, na katika mateso yao, mchungaji, uatembele 
na uwaangalie. Hiyo ndiyo dini. Wachana na hii tuko ingieni hiyo. Hamtawahi ulizwa swali na mtu kwa nini mliingia hiyo dini. Praise the name of the Lord. Nimewaambia jina JCM ni la serikali ndio tujulikane tupo. Ndio tukipeleka watu shakahora unakujiwa peke yako. Are we together? Lakini dini iliyo safi ni hiyo ambayo imetajwa hapa. Kwenda kutizama wajana. Kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha hata usipokuja Sunday service uende children's home wewe umeshinda church. Amujashika. Hata usipo attend Sunday service uende children's home wewe umeshinda kanisa. Wewe ni zaidi ya watu wameshinda hapa wakiinua mikono na kurukaruka. Wewe ni zaidi ya mtu ameshinda hapa amepiga magoti. Hata usipokuja hapa utembelee mjane na shopping wewe umeshinda kanisa. Mimi mfungu langu la kumi. si mnaonaga JCM fungu langu la kumi. mimi hutoa naita kiwete kuja. Enda ununue siku kuu. Na sitaulizwa na mtu kwa nini nimepatia mwananchi ama mshirika wa kawaida fungu langu la kumi. Nimeangalia mtu aliye na shida wakati wake wa mateso Praise the name of the Lord. Imagine ukikosa ufalme wa binguni ni kwa sababu haukuenda kutembelea mfungwa. <laughs> Unaambia Mungu, Mungu nilikuwa na fast. Nilikuwa na fast. Ni kwanza nilikuwa na fast 40 days. Wewe well, si uli fast 40 Jesus. Jesus si uli fast 40. Mimi nili fast 42. Alafu nilikuwa naimba sana huko kanisani. Mpaka watu wote walikuwa nasema ni mimi nilikuwa naimba vizuri. Alafu unaambiwa nilikuwa na njaa huku nipea nilikuwa na kiu huku nipea nilikuwa uchi hauku nipea nguo nilikuwa jela haukuja kunitazama hizi mambo zingine unaona hizi ni urembo wa dini hizi vitu zingine zote unaona ni urembo wa dini dini ya ukweli imesomwa hapa matendo mema hiyo ndiyo dini ya Yesu Kristo May the Lord God all bless you. Mungu awabariki sana. Mungu awatende mema. Kama nimekukwaza Kama nimekukwaza na hii injiri, jiandae kwa sababu nitakukwaza tena. Kama umefurahi kwa sababu ya hii injiri, ujue maisha yako yatajaa furaha. Praise the name of the Lord. You cannot be apologetic for speaking the truth. Praise the name of the Lord. Because Jesus said, when you preach and you say the truth, the truth shall set them free. Tusimame, tuombe. Amen. Ambia mwenzako ni mejua sasa. Sio dini ni mwili wa Yesu Kristo. Muambie body of Jesus Christ. Sasa unakataa kumwangalia vizuri kwa nini? Na siku za siku kuzi maisha hakuna kitu anakuomba. Muongereshe mwambie nimejua sasa. Sitanunua uoga tena wa dini. Nimejua dini yangu. Kutenda mema. Mimi ni wa hiyo dini. Mwambie kuanzia leo nimeokoka hiyo dini kwa jina la Yesu. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Nataka uinue mikono yako mbele za Mungu mwambie kuanzia leo Mungu nisaidie. Saidia moyo wangu niweze kutenda mema. Ambia Mungu kuanzia leo Yesu nimeelewa dini ya ukweli ni gani. Nimeelewa kutenda mema ni kusema nini. Nimeelewa kuanzia leo mimi nitaanza kuingia dini ya watendao mema. Nitaingia dini ya watu wenye huruma. Nitaingia dini ya watu wenye utu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Kuanzia leo nitabadilisha mienendo yangu na nitaelewa jinsi ya kuunda mwili wa Yesu Kristo. Mungu nisaidie nisijisifu na dini. Nisaidie Mungu nisisimame katika malango ya dini, lakini nisimame katika malango ya kuunda na kuunganisha mwili wako Yesu. Jesus. Help us and forgive us. Kama hatujatenda haki Mungu kuanzia leo utusamehe. Tunakutafuta ili tujue kutenda haki na kutenda mema katika jina la Yesu. 
Jesus, we thank you. And we love you, Jesus. Tunakupenda sana Yesu. Maandiko yametuambia ya kwamba tukitenda mema. Tukijifunza kuangalia walio na shida na kusimama nao. Sisi tumeingia katika dini unayoitambua. Tumeingia katika dini iliyo safi ambayo wewe ulianzisha. Kuanzia leo geuza mioyo yetu Mungu ili tuweze kutenda haki na kutenda mema na haswa kwa wanadamu wenzetu walio na shida wanadamu wenzetu wanaopitia hali ngumu wanadamu wenzetu wanaopitia hakika katika uchungu na Mungu tukiondoleana shida katika maisha tutauona ufalme wa mbinguni tunapotakasa mioyo yetu tunapotakasa mawazo yetu Tunapotakasa miili yetu kwa sababu ya ufalme wa mbinguni tusisahau kutenda mema. Tunaomba hivyo in the name of the Father, the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us appreciate Jesus. As I welcome back my brother Apostle Ngaruia. Alafu atuelekeze jinsi ambavyo tutakavyoelekea pale kufungua nyumba. Let us appreciate this great man of God. Amen. 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 Situpigie Yesu makofi mazuri. Situpigie Yesu makofi mazuri. Let us appreciate the man of God Bishop Ben. Appreciate yourself in the name of Jesus. Let us appreciate uh, our reader in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I think umekuja kutia muhuri. Niliambia kanisa. Ninasikiaga hata kuondoa jina la kanisa. Because people wamekuwa religious worshipers. But waliacha kumtumikia the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Number 2, I'm not good about preaching about money. Parodi is a witness. And today, Kanisa la Kingdom Seekers, <laughs> my brother dear Ananiabiaga never hit, my little brother, the firstborn, Ananiabiaga never hit a mosquito bite with a, with a hammer. <laughs> That's what he normally tell me, the firstborn you don't hapa. Ni mkubwa, I think ya mekura jubiri, ya miaka ile ya hamsini na kweda na ju. Na kwa hivyo ukisikia kwa ha, huko mimi na katalia hapo hamsini ama na mnaona na mna gani mbona hapo kesi sana na so bishop may god bless you so much for the word of the season i like uh, and i love the true gospel 
And I tell you, I normally tell the people in our church, I will never promise you a Red Rover. Because at this time you need a school fees, not a Red Rover. You are how uh, itaji kweda kuchukua fisa unahitaji kurejesha watoto shuleni. And thank you because of the, that message of today. Like in Najue, we make a foundation because next week, but one, by God grace, you are coming. Kuitimiza katika chini la Yesu. May God bless you so much.